Traditionally, in Rwanda's conservative culture, women don't play football. Seen as an exclusively male sport, the idea of a women's football team was unthinkable as recently as 15 years ago. But now women are training, playing and competing. The transformation is largely thanks to the dedication of a small group of women from Kigali, Rwanda's capital. ACWAS, the Association of Kigali Women in Sport, was founded in 1997, just three years after a genocide which killed 800,000 people. Here, football is used as a means of gender empowerment. After the genocide, women and some of the, the young girls were always hidden behind doors. They could not talk, they were almost traumatized, they could not speak. But so long as we invited them to join football, at first they would just keep quiet, no smile. The second week, the same. But after one month, you find that they are now active and they realize that they're still of, uh, used to the development of the country and they still realize that they are loved by the other players. Uh, then it becomes a teamwork and then they start talking about their experiences. So we believe that the more they talk of the experience that they went through, the more they are healed. Working closely with the association, Grace Nina Wamuntu was the first female professional referee in Rwanda's history and is now the coach of the women's national team. After school, Grace wanted to attend the Faculty of Sports at Kingali National University, but faced considerable resistance from her family. With the support of ACWAS, she became the first female student to attend the course. Ah, it was not easy to, to study sports because of our culture. In our culture, the women does, didn't, didn't wear the, the shirt like the men, didn't play football uh, because of our culture. So I think it was not easy, but I tried. On the outskirts of Kigali, the girls train hard to prepare for their upcoming fixtures. The members of the team under Grace's management are all under 22 years old and the youngest is just 15. This summer, four from the team are going to Ohio to take part in an international training festival. Grace's nickname in the squad, Mourinho, reveals much about her managerial style. Passionate about winning, Grace has coached her domestic side to multiple successes, claiming the National League trophy in consecutive seasons. Using sport as a means of education and reconciliation is by no means a new concept, but the startling success Grace and Aquas have enjoyed can serve as a template for further achievements for all generations of Rwandans, male or female. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.